today for this supper. We've got just carrots, potatoes, onions, and peppers, summer squash, and a sirloin steak cooked in an iron skillet. But that's what's for dinner tonight. We're going to season both sides. This is a little bit of kosher salt. And then we're going to use fresh black pepper. And then we're going to use some garlic powder. And on the garlic powder, we like it pretty good, so don't go light on the garlic powder. And then we're going to flip it over and do the other side. Same way. Okay, and then we're just gonna let that sit there and soak up all that seasoning we just put on it. With our steak and potatoes, we're gonna have squash, our summer squash. This is our first time getting to cook our squash this year. You can cut it ever how thick or thin you like it. This one is actually a small one but I went ahead and picked it just because I wanted to get enough to be able to have enough for me and Travis for supper tonight. It could have been out there a couple more days, but I wanted enough to make us a, some for supper. Get over here and do our steak now. Okay, let's go ahead and cut the eye on and our cast iron skillet. We're gonna use a pretty good size one. I believe this is a 12 inch. But we're gonna get it good and hot. We're gonna go ahead and put our olive oil in it and let it start heating up. And you want it, the cast iron to heat up a good seven to eight minutes. Y'all can see I've got my Iron skillet's been heating up for about five minutes. It's good and hot. So what we're gonna do is, and I've got my olive oil already in there, and I've got me about two tablespoons of butter over here. But first we're gonna sear the sirloin steak on the side. One side first. And we're gonna let it sit there for about three to four minutes. And there's my butter, and that's real butter. It's not the margarine or anything like that. It's real butter. Cast iron steaks are one of the best steaks you can get. I like it better than grilled steaks. I'm going to raise it up and let y'all just see the bottom. 
See how it's getting brown, but it's not burning. It's been about two minutes. Okay, I'm just going to mash down on it. It's about one more minute, and I'm just going to push down on it just a little bit. Okay, we're going to go ahead now and flip it. And then let it cook on that side for about four minutes. See how it's not burnt, it's just a pretty brown golden color. Okay, now I'm going to turn it over and hold it up just on the, on the side and let it get the edge of the, that side brown. And then we're going to hold it up on this side for just a minute. Now we're going to set it back down. And let it cook for about one more minute. Okay, now at this point, I'm going to add my butter. I'm going to make it into smaller pieces so it melt better. And we're going to cover the top of it in butter and let it start melting down. some of that butter over there to the side and let it start melting because we're going to use it. And this butter right here I'm going to leave on top of it. Just keep a check on it and make sure it's not getting too brown. Let's go ahead, we're going to turn it over. And then I'm going to use a, a big spoon, and I'm going to pull the steak to the front of the skillet right here and tilt my pan over so I can get to all my juice and butter and just start covering it in that, covering the steak in that juice. If you get worried about it getting too brown on one side, just flip it to the other side and coat it. Travis always uses butter a lot when he grills. So I thought I'd try this in this skillet with butter and the oil. Okay, we're going to set it over here in the plate. And 
and let it rest. while we get our other stuff cooking. And we're gonna take us to save us just a spoon of that buttery sauce in this little bowl. But my steak, I'm gonna put just a tiny bit over the top of it. And save that little bit for later. Okay, now in that same skillet, I'm gonna go ahead and add my vegetables. Go ahead and season the potatoes and carrots and onions and peppers, some salt, black pepper, and the garlic powder, the same as we did our steak. Okay, now that the vegetables have cooked a few minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and add about a, about a cup of water to them. And we're gonna add about two tablespoons more of butter. Okay, and then to that, give it one more little mix. All right, to that, we're gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna put my top to my skillet on the top and we're gonna let those steam for about 20 minutes. To go with our steak and our vegetables that we got over here steaming, the carrots, the onions, the peppers, we're gonna cook our summer squash too. And the way I do my summer squash when it's fresh like this, I just wash it and cut it up and I'm gonna use a Ziploc bag. And a lot of people, and I have done it too, make a, a breading to put on it, like dip it in the eggs and then dip it in the milk and in that. But really when it's fresh right out of the garden like that, you don't have to do that. You could just take you, for that amount of squash, that's about one to two squashes per person for me and Travis, I'm gonna use a cup of cornmeal. That's a half, so I'm gonna put two of those in my little Ziploc bag. And then to the cornmeal, I'm just gonna add my salt. About a fourth of a teaspoon and about the same of the black pepper. And then we're just gonna give that a mix. And if you have a lot more squash, you could just use a bigger bag or a bowl. But for that amount, I'm just using a quart size bag and I'm just gonna add my squash down in it. And when you cut up a squash, when it's fresh out of the garden, you can feel it's got that like sticky feel to it. So your flour, I mean your cornmeal, this is cornmeal, will stick to your squash. Just go ahead and add it all in there at one time for no more than I have right there. And 
we'll set that down there. And then we're just gonna give it a mix. And what you need to do is just mix it up real good and let that sticky squash soak up all that cornmeal. And just sit it in there, leave it sitting in the bag for about five to 10 minutes before you start frying it. And when you start frying it, you need to make sure you have your oil. I'm using olive oil, real good and hot. But once you get your yellow summer squash mixed like that, just let it sit there and make sure it's, and then just toss it every one, like every couple, like let it sit there for five minutes and then the other five minutes, give it a toss and let that cornmeal soak up in there. But we'll bring you back as soon as we start frying it. Our oil's getting hot. And those are still doing good. They're just steaming good. Got to let them steam for them carrots to get tender. I'll show y'all one. See how we didn't batter them in anything. See, there's one right there I'll show. I was hoping y'all could see it. I think I had it up there where you couldn't. But we didn't batter these in any kind of milk or eggs. And look how it's sticking to it. And that's just cornmeal, salt, and pepper. And right here in the pan we have and the skillet getting hot, you got to put a good amount, about a fourth of a, probably a fourth of a cup of oil. And it's starting to get good and hot. See it sizzling right there? Okay, let's go ahead and start placing them in the oil. And you want to just put them in one layer. Frying them this way. Now you can put them in where you where you just put it all together and you sort of make like a squash scramble. But this is going to be more like, sort of like little chips. For people that don't like squash, maybe you can trick them and make them think it's a, a nugget or a tater chip. Just put them down in the oil real easy. Okay, and let's let them cook on that side. that one over just a little bit. And there they are. I could have got a couple more right in there, I believe, but I'm going to just leave it like that for now because everything's good and hot. See how that one right there is already turning to golden brown? So that one will be ready to flip in just a minute. Not ready yet. This one might be starting to turn. Yep. Oh, look how pretty.
doing it this way takes a little bit longer, but it's good like this. But like I said, you can cook it where it's more like a scramble, or you can fry it this way. There's one. And the cornmeal, see how it's sticking to it? We've got just a handful more left over here. While that's frying for a second, let me check my potato and carrots. The Even the carrots are, on, are almost fork tender. And they're cooked in that seasoning off of that steak with that butter and the flavor from your steak. Okay, we'll start taking these up. Okay, now we're gonna put the last little bit in. Just a few left, not many. This sure is smelling good. Travis is going to have him a good supper tonight. Y'all know the saying, a family that eats together stays together. With the times the way they are nowadays, we all need to remember that and try to stick together. This is like your granny and your mama used to cook squash. And if they didn't show you how, I can. Just watch my videos and I'll be glad to show you how to cook country style the old ways. I try to cook some of the new ways, but we're just more of a country cooking family. We like to cook and we like to eat. Okay, y'all, there's my summer squash, my fried summer squash. I hope y'all give that a try. And just remember, you don't have to do all that messy batter if you don't want to. It is good that way, and you can even make it like into a squash scramble. That's what we've always called it. Or you can do it this way. It's just which one you want to cook and which one you prefer. But this one right here, see how the cornmeal is still on my squash. Which is cornmeal, salt, and pepper. Here's our sauce that we saved. 
I'm gonna pour just a little bit of that buttery flavor over the top of it. Okay, y'all, I wanted to show you our steak. So I put me a little bit of that buttery sauce that we saved, and I wanted to give y'all a close-up of how it looks. That's my sirloin steak cooked in an iron skillet. But anyway, I wanted to say too, y'all don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe if you hadn't already. Comment down below. It helps our channel get out there on YouTube so we can get in the, the, out of the rhythm. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope y'all give this a try. And if you got any summer squash, that's how that looks. Ooh, I can't wait to eat supper tonight, y'all. Let's give it a try. Mm. That's our first squash this summer. If you have any, that's how you can fry it up and not make a big mess. Now we just gotta wait for supper. We've got just carrots, potatoes, onions, and peppers summer squash, and a sirloin steak cooked in an iron skillet. But that's what's for dinner tonight. Thanks for watching.